Right guys, what's going on? Jay Paul, Mike Perry fighting tomorrow night, Saturday. We are going to go live for it, going to do a fight companion. I probably won't be on till about 11, 12-ish because I've got a party to go to. But we're going to go live and I'm actually pretty excited for this fight. Now yesterday we've done a breakdown video and a predictions video of who I think is going to win this fight and how. If you want to go and watch that, it'll pop up here or at the bottom of the description and we break down who was going to win this fight. A little bit of a spoiler alert. I'm leaning, and I'm not saying definitively because I don't want to be definitive with my answer here. And I know I'm sitting on the fence slightly, but I am leaning slightly towards Jake Paul walking away with the decision in this fight. If you want to know all my reasoning and all the logic and facts behind this decision, then I urge you to go and watch this video because I break it down. We're not going to waste any time doing that here. What we are going to do is we're going to react to the Mike Perry and Jake Paul press conference, see if there's any mind games getting played. We're only going to take a look at the highlights. This press conference was like 40 minutes long, so I'm going to chop it all down for you just so it's the highlights. And we'll see if this press conference or the face-off between these two fighters changes our prediction. And also, I've got to let you know no, I appreciate you guys for getting behind me music. I just dropped a new song called Next Up and it's pretty hard. I think you are going to like it. You can check that out. Link in the description. Appreciate all the love and support with that. Right, let's go. Uh, Mike, like I said, and it's great to see you, uh, 4-0 he is against the MMA fighters. Do you feel like you are representing MMA here? Do you have to right the wrong here? Do you have to get the win for not only yourself, but the community, the sport? Finally beat this man so that he can stop fighting these MMA fighters and beating them. I'm doing it for everybody. For, for me, for the fans, for BKFC, for MMA. Yeah. Uh, you know, just mainly for me because I believe in myself and my boxing ability. I'm a brawling boxing mug. So yeah. I'm ready to get in the ring with Jake and have some fun. And it's SOG. I'm talking about my mom like that. Oh, I'm that. sorry. No, I thought that was Andre Ward. No, you said I'm yes. an SOB. Well, I just meant tough. I, I didn't mean... Son of a gun okay, is, be okay, is more sorry, preferable. I apologize. <laughs> sure. No, it's okay. <laughs> Mrs. Perry, I apologize. Is she here? Because I'll personally apologize. She'll be here tomorrow okay. night. I'll, I'll <laughs> or or sa Saturday night. Sorry. My apologies to her. Uh, Ariel is quivering in his pants. Mike Perry said, don't call my mum the B word. That's right, Ariel. Leave the Nigerian nightmare's mother out of this. Uh, earlier today, Jay, Conor McGregor, he said that Mike is fighting a, a little dweeb on Saturday. I'm wondering if you saw that. Well, first of all, he's big up in the BKFC, but you're going to see what I'm going to do to their best fighter on Saturday night. I'm going to embarrass their whole entire league. This guy has no skill. Those are just brawler, idiot, street fighter dudes who have no idea what the sweet science is. And Conor McGregor can say what he wants, but he won't fight me either. So once I knock out Mike Perry, Conor McGregor, let's run it. But you won't do it because you know what's going to happen. You saw what I did to Nate Diaz, who you went toe to toe with. So Conor McGregor, lay off the cocaine, get in the gym and start winning fights. And then maybe we could have a conversation. No clap for him. He's a disrespectful punk. Those men and women fight for their families over there. They put it all on the line and they get in that ring and they put on shows for the fans. Yeah. Connor s said my name was self-proclaimed, but they gave me the title of King of Violence and my tequila is going to be better than his whiskey when that comes out. That was the drop of my brand that's coming out soon oh. is the Platinum Tequila and I was an owner first in that company. Is Mike Perry sending shots for Conor McGregor there? I mean, it sounds like it. He said, my tequila's going to be better than your whiskey. And I was an owner first. And McGregor said that my name was self-proclaimed. I was titled that before I called myself it. Ooh, Mike Perry might be a little bit bitter that he was first in the bare knuckle FC and he was the first superstar. Then Conor McGregor's came on board and took some of the spotlight. Mike Perry, don't worry, my brother. No one's taking the spotlight away from you. Conor McGregor might be part owner of bare knuckle FC, but you are the king of violence, my friend. No no one takes that away from you, okay? Don't get so upset, Mike. I know Mike's a pretty emotional character, but I don't think he needs to be bitter about McGregor whatsoever, unless something else has happened that I'm not aware of. Right, we're on 1.2 times speed now, in case you wonder why this has sped up slightly. Which one you picking? Left or right? Answers in the comments right now. We are red-blooded males here on the Sean Jones Fighting YouTube channel. <sighs> Alpha males. <laughs> And um, ever skip, 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 sk
Owls? No, wait there. Wait, what? That can't be right, that. Oh, okay, right. Oh, it's Junior. Oh, freaking, I'm, I'm a dumbass, me. I missed the Junior part of that. I was thinking, no way Uriah Hall's fighting a 62-year-old. <laughs> oh, face palm emoji. Do you watch Mike's footage? Yeah, Mike, very, yeah, yeah. But is there anything you can gain from watching that? Because he's fighting a bare knuckle and not, you know, Queensberry rules. He had a boxing match and a triangle that I yes. gained a lot of knowledge from. A lot of openings. Go. It's going to be a short night, Ariel. What did you learn from that? He's Let's just talk. open for anything I want to throw at him. Right, so we said this in yesterday's video, that Jake probably was watching that triad boxing fight that Mike Perry had against that professional boxer, Michael Seal. And Mike Perry got knocked down because he threw the left hook and he dropped his right hand right down here. Not just like dropping it a little bit, he actually dropped it right down. And I said, I think Jake Paul might look for that left hook, but I think he's going to set it up with the overhand right, the right hook maybe the right uppercut get Mike thinking about that power shot and then Jake's gonna bang try and go for that one now Mike's got a good chin so whether that actually takes Mike out or not we're just gonna have to find out that fight was like three years ago or so I feel like you've improved a lot you've evolved a lot since then is that fair yes thank you um I've been winning since then that's all I know I've been victorious I've been succeeding consistently and I've been getting better every single day. Put this little twerp in his place. He's new to this game. Welcome, welcome. You just got here. What's your boxing record? No, I appreciate the work you've done, but what's my professional fighting record? I've got 30 professional fights. You're 0-1 as a boxer, and you're telling me That's welcome cool. to this sport. And you're I'm going to beat you. Isn't that night. crazy? It's going to be a rough one. I'm 0-1. one it's gonna but be how many pro boxers man. you fought, Jake? I need to correct myself. I've made an error. In yesterday's video, I was talking about how Mike Perry still won that triad combat fight against Michael Seals. He didn't. He lost that fight. It's but be how many pro boxers man. you fought, Jake? Those two guys, that guy you hit with the uppercut, who the hell was that guy? I knocked out two pro boxers in the first round. And then that other guy, that last year, fat guy you dumbass. fought. I'm glad you got your shirt open so everybody can see your fat ass belly. Because <laughs> I'm you're not as fat, fat as the last self. guy you knocked out. And you barely knocked him out. The ref stepped in because the guy didn't even know how to defend or punch back. He didn't even throw anything back at you. Don't worry, you're gonna get what you've been asking for. Uh, uh, the fight to go longer than one round, I'm gonna give you hell in the first Thank and the second rounds. round. Just Perfect. wait and watch. And you're gonna, gonna get tired, you're gonna be grasping for air. I made a new word, grasping. <laughs> you're gonna be grasping for air, but <sighs> I'm gonna be breathing in your ear, Jake, making them noises from the Diddy party. Oh my. <laughs> um. Could I ask Jake, how much you expect? Uh, not even gasping for air, it's grasping. Give me that, ah, give me that air. <laughs> even Jake Paul's laughing. Jake Paul has met his match with the promo. And listen, Mike Perry is spitting facts there. Jake Paul's last fight against that professional boxer. The professional boxer didn't look good. The way he was curling up defending shots, it looked like he didn't want to be in there. I mean, I can't really show this because the zone is notorious for giving copyright strikes out, but if you go and watch this fight, Jake Paul first round knockout against Ryan Borland. Ryan Borland, he wasn't in shape. He was fat. He had a bit of a dad bod going on. And the way he was defending shots, as I say, it just looked like he didn't want to be in there. He looked scared. So Mike Perry might be 0-1 as a boxer. But Jake Paul's last two professional boxing opponents, we're not good at all. Could I ask Jake, how much do you expect to weigh on Saturday? Uh, I'll be like 215. What about you, Mike? Because it's been a talking point going into this fight that he may be a little bit bigger than you. Well, I, I get heavier in the night, so I'll be like 198. Uh, depending on how I eat that day, I might weigh in between 194 and 196. That's my weight. Okay. I'll be fast as lightning. I'm going to strike you, too. You think on Saturday you'll be under 200? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. You think that's your advantage? It, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. None, none of this matters. The skills is what pay the bills. And he has no footwork, no head movement, no defense. He's a great offensive fighter and bare knuckle. But in terms of boxing, he's going to get picked apart very quickly. And it's going to be a short night. Like I said, my predictions are never wrong. So I stand on business every single time. I manifest it into reality. I, Jake Joseph Paul, will knock out Mike Perry in less than two rounds. It's going to happen. Put the money on it. Tougher test. What Jake's saying there? Can't really refute it. Has Mike Perry got great footwork? No. Is Mike Perry better offensively than defensively? Yes. Has Mike Perry got good head movement? No. He gets hit a lot. If anything, you can say that his head movement is extremely minimal. So, once again, Jake Paul is kind of spitting facts as well. I know a lot of people who watch my channel hate him, and that's cool. We can all tune into my live stream on Saturday and root for Mike Perry to win this fight. But what he's saying about Mike Perry's style is not wrong. Mike Perry's method of winning this fight really is to push forward and just deliver that many punches that Jake can never really get going and I also think it's plausible for Mike Perry to win this fight by a decision just from sheer amount of volume and pressure that he puts on Jake Paul you got beat by Love Island boy Love Island boy beat you up he ain't no killer and he beat you up kind of true Tommy Fury beat Jake Paul spitting facts looks good 
<laughs> he got money. That's he know right. how to dress and take care of himself. That's good, but I, I, I get down and gritty. I'm a dirty motherfucker. Point blank, period. I'm going to get nasty in there. Bro, my you went to private school. Ear, Jake. <laughs> you went to <laughs> private school. What are you saying, bro? You act like you you're from lying. the hood. You Please keep lying that, to yourself. Bro. You're going to find out the truth in Please a couple of days, that. buddy. You're going to bleed, Jake. What do you want him to explain, Jake? Why he says he's from the hood, but he went to private school. Everyone's confused. Everybody knows where I'm from, Jake. No, we don't. You we literally die. don't. You would die if you drank the water I drank growing up playing yeah, Flint, at recess. Flint, Michigan? Yeah, what you would mean? die. Why are you bragging about that? Hell yeah. That shit made me who I am. It made me shit. who I am. I'm grasping for air. It made me who I am. Drink the water. That's what you're going to sound like. <laughs> First body shot. Mike Perry there said, first body shot, that's what you're going to sound like. So I said in yesterday's video that I'd like to see a couple body shots for Mike Perry. Body, body, head. Because Jake Paul's the taller fighter. So the body of Jake Paul is going to be available for Mike Perry during this fight, hopefully. And Mike Perry just gives some of his game away there. First body shots. You're going to be taller like that. Let's take some questions from hey, the media. Speaking of which, I actually got you something here. Uh -oh. Since you are private school Perry. Got you this. Cap and gown. Try that on, brother. Hey, You're not from the hood. I never you went got to private to do school. This. I never got to do this. I'm graduating before I beat your ass on Saturday. I never got to do that. Yeah. Congrats. You, you didn't graduate? Nope. You should, you should uh, post your report card from when you were a kid, and that could put an end to all this private school talk. There's lots of D on there for you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know I like that. We didn't even plan that. I just Let's take some questions from the media. Okay, we got some media questions next. I love, I love the necklace, by the way. Can you, can you show it to the crowd? What is that? That's his face, right? Where'd you get that? Yeah, Rocco's Jewelry, New York City. Shot a little foreshadowing for the. How much know. does it go for? Well, with the chain and the pendant, it should be about forty thousand. Wow. Be about. Uh, th these are CZ diamonds and that. Sh Fake. Ah. They're not. Don't play my guys. Hey, New shit. York City got the, the best jewelry out there. My boy Rocco right there with, with tracks. Hey, that shit looks green from over here, bro. Come on. Your neck nice. turning green, bro. You know right, that's sir. fake. Uh, right? If you could just uh, say yeah, 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 yeah. You can't even deny. You had the fake the fake Travis Scott's on, too. Everything about you is fake. Fake fighter, too. You suck at fighting. You suck at dressing. You got a fake chain. You got fake shoes. I'm going to expose Mike Perry Saturday night. You got a fake career night. in boxing, and I'm finna beat your ass. I am boxing. What the f*** uh, are you talking about? You're dumber you. I'm than gonna shit. I'm going to take it then. Nope. I'm going to take it from you. This is Underrated comeback. You got a fake career in boxing. Yes, preach, Perry. This is my chance to show the world what a real fighter can do in boxing. These other guys was long past their prime. Every single person before you has said the same thing. No, they from didn't. The you MMA said community. it. You do the same promotion every, every time you fight. You say the same thing. single time they sit across from me in these exact same seats and say, I'm going to take it from you. I'm going to show a real fighter. You but haven't done this. Difference? This is me. Welcome I'm to the sport. Shut the up. Up up. Boxing Literally shut the up. We both beat Word, you. Your words as MMA champions. fighters are equal, meaningless. Jake. You guys are all we equal. Every single MMA but fighter is a wrong. Wrong. And you can't box for shit. You won't give me any credit. And when I try credit. to fight y'all in MMA, y'all don't do it. Y'all don't do it. I'm going to box your socks off. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Both bitches will never fight me. Fucking pussies. Fuck you, bitch. I'm going to fight you. Do you want to fight him in MMA? You say Yes, let's go. Let's run it. After this, MMA? Yeah, after I knock him out on Saturday, let's do it. Let's sign the contract for some MMA. I'll choke you out, too. That MMA fight is not going to happen. On Jake Paul's renowned podcast, BS with Jake Paul, that dropped today, he mentioned that he was drinking 16 days before the fight. How do you feel about that, and does that make you feel like he's not taking this fight seriously? Who is he drinking? Red Bull? Who cares? I don't care. I've drank before, uh, smoked before, bust a nut before, before <laughs> fights, sometimes right before walking out, and I still go out and get the dub. I'm a crazy mother. <laughs> And I'm here drinking or busting a nut. <laughs> here to fight. Let's fight about it. Jake, I want to tell you, in your own words, you were yapping again. You do yap, though. What's your biggest concern with Mike? And Mike, what's your biggest concern with Jake in this fight? Yeah, he's unorthodox. That's about it. So the first 30 seconds to a minute, uh, just finding my timing and range, and that's then the fight's over. That's really about it. Really, I, I switch stances sometimes, but I'm really an orthodox fighter, so I don't know how I'm unorthodox. Uh, so so that, punch means, that means... punch people in the this, face. That means, like, your stance is a regular stance, not southpaw. I think that one went over your head, Jake. <laughs> What was the decision process behind picking Mike Perry? How do you not try to overlook this fight with Mike Tyson coming in November? Really, this came about because he has a crazy fan base, and any time I would post an Instagram picture over the last like 18 months, one of the top comments would always be, fight Mike Perry, fight Mike Perry, you're scared of Mike Perry. And so I love to prove people wrong and take the fights that no one thinks I'm gonna take, and that's really how this all came about. Christian Schneeweiss, Bare Knuckle News. Jake, would you ever fight Mike Perry and Bare Knuckle? Uh, let's make a bet. If I win on Saturday night, you have to get a W face stat. But if you win, I'll run it back with you and bare knuckle. Y'all yeah, been booing me and clapping for him. F*** y'all. I ain't getting no more tattoos. I haven't got tatted in like bet. 10 years. I, I put that one up with God, so...
your little tattoo bet. I Stupid bets. I hate that crap. It's not equal. Mike Perry having to walk around with a tattoo on his face for the rest of his life is not the same as you agreeing to a rematch with Mike Perry in bare knuckle. It's stupid. It's just not equal. Why don't you just bring back, I'll bet you 50 grand or I'll bet you 100 grand I win. Keep it simple. None of these stupid bets. Everybody's, Take your everybody's bet. tough. I came here to sign my e check and beat your ass, tough. Jake. Until it's I'm here for your ass, Jake. I'm here to take your ass, Jake. Everybody's tough until it's time to bet. That just showed your true confidence right there. No, no, you're just, you're just not stupid enough to bet that. Because at the end of the day, any real fighter knows that it's a fight and anything can happen. And regardless of how confident you are in your abilities, you can still also acknowledge that, look, I know I'm going to win, but there's still that little uncertainty where... Anything can happen. Therefore, even if it's a 0.01% chance that I lose by a complete fluke or it's a bad decision by the judges, I'm not going to risk it and bet it all on a tattoo. Stupid. Do you want to counter bet him? Bruh. Buffering. Suck my dick. How about that? <laughs> Present it. Don't tell me to suck your dick, but don't pull it out. Whoa. Right. Uh, That's what I'm saying. We got another question here from uh, Munyano Media Group. I just want to ask Mike Perry, how are you going to feel when you're laying down on the ground and nah, Jake makes you we're say, not doing this. Shoot, Papi we're not Munyano. doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Don't answer that <laughs> bullshit. We're not doing that. Um, every time with this. <laughs> Let me listen to that again. <laughs> Shoot, Papi Munyano. What did he say? I just want to ask Mike Perry, how are you going to feel when you're laying down on the ground nah, and Jake makes you we're say, not doing this. Shoot, Papi Munyano. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Don't answer that bullshit. We're not doing that. Um, every time with this stuff. Why does this happen every time? <laughs> that was like the Neon situation with Nate Diaz where Neon said, when Masvidal knocks you out, how are you going to feel? To be honest, I hate these stupid little influencers who do that. Although the voice that he did was actually quite funny, to be honest. <laughs> I'm glad that Ariel shut him down, though. That's okay. Interesting press conference. I would give it maybe like a 6.5 out of 10. Not quite a 7. Maybe you could push it to a 7. Mike Perry had some funny moments on the mic. I think Jake has definitely met his match with regards to someone who can promo the fight like he can. I'd actually argue, and I know this is highly debatable and I'm probably wrong, but I feel like going into this fight, Mike Perry is the A-side. Maybe that's just because I'm the MMA guy, but let's go War Perry. Right now they have the face-off. Let's see how that goes down. Perry, once again. He's been asking for this fight for almost two years. He is hyped. He is ready to go. Jake Paul, the brand new W brand, and so much more. Here they are, face to face, one more time. Not too much of a size difference. Where does Jake Paul get the nerve calling Mike Perry short? <laughs> There's not that much difference. There's about a one to two inch height difference. Oh, we got fingers flying now. We got the hand gestures. Cruiserweight fight headlining this show on Saturday exclusively on DAZN pay-per-view. Platinum versus El Gallo. It's Perry versus Paul. All right, let's bring out all the fighters one last time for one group photo up. <laughs> all 10 <laughs> fighters competing on this main card. And don't forget, live and exclusively on DAZN pay-per-view. Get it right now on DAZN.com. For £195, Mike Perry's in pretty decent shape. Still got visible abs. So there we go. Final thoughts before this fight takes place. Who has got the mental edge? I'd say both fighters seem fairly confident. I don't think either fighter's going to back down. Jake Paul's coming into this fight confident that he's going to KO Mike Perry within the first two rounds. Mike Perry is confident that he's Jake Paul's toughest challenge and he's going to bring it to Jake Paul and be a tough fight for Jake. And I think Mike Perry is completely justified in thinking that. However, I do believe that Jake Paul might be able to implement his own game plan and just about beat Mike Perry via decision. Can I see Mike Perry getting knocked out? I can see him getting popped a few times. As we said earlier, he doesn't have great head movements. He just kind of walks forward, takes the punishment, and then dishes punishment back out at you. So we know that Mike Perry's going to get hit. The question is, can he withstand the power that Jake Paul possesses? So it's all going to be interesting anyway. Make sure you tune in for me live stream. We're going to go live roughly around 11, 11.30 p.m. UK time tomorrow. 
tomorrow night. Appreciate you all tuning in. Appreciate all the love and support. Thanks for all the positive comments on the recent videos. Honestly, bottom of my heart, appreciate you all. Let's finish the rest of this year really strong for the channel. So subscribe if you like daily fighting content. Appreciate you. See you tomorrow.